Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, we have created the authentication using Laravel as a backend and Vue as a frontend, but we have some issues and we are going to fix in this uh, video. Right now, if I go to home, we can visit the home, we are not logged in and we can visit this, but if I go to dashboard, because we are not logged in, we redirect the login page. If I click here, we have Errors, very good. The same thing when we go to register. Everything works correctly. If I fill now the form, we can navigate on the dashboard because we are logged in. If I go to login, if I click on the login, we are direct to the dashboard because we are authenticated and we cannot navigate on the login and register. Okay. If I inspect the element, network, right now if I refresh, because we have the user, and we use the persist state, we are not making a get request to get the user again. We can click on the logout and everything works correctly. Now let me show you the issues we have right now. From the backend, if I, uh, let's start with the database. If I stop the database, okay, and let's try to register the user. Register. We have 500 error here and nothing showing to the user what the error is, just we have this error right like this, like this. Okay, let's start the MySQL. This is the 500 error. Let's see another error. If I open the database, or let's just register the user. Okay, now if I open the database here and in the session, I'm going to delete this. Now, if I click on the logout, nothing happened. We have here 419 error because the backend session is missing here, so it's going to validate the front-end session with the back-end, but the back-end does not exist, so we have a CSRF token mismatch 419. Okay, if I refresh, uh, yeah, let me just go and clean this. And let's come here on the state, delete and delete this one, go to Pina, and delete everything. If I refresh now, we navigate here. Very good. Let's go on the register. Register the user. Now I'm going to open the cursor. On the dashboard, we check here. If the auth is not logged in, then say auth get user, but I'm going to remove this for now. So we are going to, if I refresh here, we want to make a get request anytime. Now let me just go in the application and delete this. For some reason, if I refresh now, we have the 401 error. The user is here, but we have 401. If I go and click on the logout, the same thing, we have 401 error. Okay, so we have 500, we have a uh, file, uh, 419, 401, and uh, for example, if I just come here and on the out.ts, when we get the user, I'm going to say here, navigate to this route on the back end, we don't have that, so we're going to have a 404 error. Yeah, as you can see, we have 404. Also, if we have a 403, because right now we haven't implemented that, but let's say also for that we don't have a catching error so we are not saying to the user what happened behind the scenes and let's work with that in this video so for that i'm going to open uh, the axios.ts and here i'm going to use with axios instance interceptors response use and for the response i'm just going to say response but for the error let's say uh, not if error response I'm going to use 
the switch case case switch and here i'm going to say error dot response dot status and if the case is 401 let's say i'm going to rather push the login uh, in case of uh, 404 push the 404 in case of 500 push the 500 rather push in case of uh, 419 the same thing so in case of 401 we had before so because we deleted the cookies here so in that case i want to navigate the login but also i want to, to clean the user let me just save this i want to clean the user because as you can see we have a user here for that let me just go on the owl.ts and create a new method here i'm going to create a method clean state which is going to be equal with uh, so user value equal to null and is logged in value to be false now on the logout yeah we do the same thing here now let's just add that clean state and on the axios i'm going to let's say here i'm going to create a constant out to be equal with use out store and in case of 401 i'm going to use that out clean state and also in case of 419 the same thing i'm going to clean that state in case of 404 i'm going to say rather push the 404 and in case of 500 rather push the 500 and just to show you i have created two files 404.view and 500.view and in the router i have created the paths for 404 and for 500 okay now i think we are good also let's just say return promise reject error here we need to import the router and uh, i think we are okay let me just stop and start npm and urban run dev and let's see let's go and register first i'm going to start with this 500 error okay let's uh, fill the form and say register we have 500 and we navigate the slash 500 and here we have internal server error okay that's the 500 error works correctly let's see the 419 404 and 401 now i'm going to go on the register register the user and here i'm going to refresh okay everything works correctly let's see if i just come here and delete this okay now if i refresh we redirect the login page very good we have a 401 error and for 401 we clean the state we say router push the login and break everything okay if i go to router the view sorry and here we have user null and is logged into false let's go to register <coughs> network here i'm going to register and now let's go to application clear the user at least the clear the cookies and the refresh yeah the same thing I'll go and register okay i'm going to clean the cookies and log out now we have 419 the same thing we redirected to the login page also if i go to view and see the state we have null so the 401 works uh, 419 works 500 works also if i see the 404 so let's go to out and change the user here to be something else 
let's delete it. Let's clear it. Here, let's go and register the user. Correctly here, uh, yeah, we need to use fake filler. And as you can see, we have 404 here, there. So we catch all the errors. That's good, we redirect, but what I want is also to show to the user, so what's the error here? For that, I'm going to use this toss notification. You can use what you like, but just I searched and this is, was the first one. So you can install using this one. Also, let me just open the main.ts to show you. I have imported the CSS, then use the task plugin here. I import task plugin and say app use task plugin. And if I come here, how we can use that, we can create a constant. And then let's just copy that. Go in the Axios here import and then we can say uh dollar sign toast composition api so dollar sign toast success i think we have also the error we can add the duration position type success and so on so success yeah we have a type so to success, let me just say for the 401, we use the auth clean state, unauthorized. I'm going to leave the AI to do the job. And uh, I think we are okay. Let's save. Let's come here. And uh, let's open the database. Just stop this. Go and register, fake filler. This is stop now. If I say register, we have internal server error. Okay. Let's see also for the. Something else. Yeah, I think we need to start this in case the work. So let's go and register the user and see now we have page that found because we need to change this out ts the user and that's it all about this video friends what i wanted to show you if you like such a videos now don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much